we were kind of like wondering uh, what people want to know about the game in the long term. Uh, I mean, once you get past this late game content, these dungeons, these huge bosses, you maybe find all the legendary weapons. We're kind of wondering what people might want out of it or like what we personally might want out of it uh, in DLC down the stretch in 2017 or after whenever they choose to keep supporting the game until. Um, but Jake, I don't know. You've been playing, I think you said about like 12 hours now around that? Yeah, I think I'm around 12 hours now. I mean, even like from now, from what you've heard from Pete and like about the late game content, can you think of anything that you think this game should add or maybe would just be like more of the same late game content we have now? Well, I mean, after hearing what Peter was saying about the those late game dungeons and after like hearing what it said in the guide, I think late game dungeons would be cool really far down the road. However, I think right now it would be nice to have more customization options. Um, I know the car, you can change colors, you can add decals, right? But I kind of don't like what any of my characters are wearing. <laughs> Leather boys. Yeah, and I think you can like change some of them. But I think I also heard you say that you can't really buy new stuff in the game. So you're stuck with your leather zippered up. You can't buy. There's a, there's a whole equipment menu for a tire and you can't buy any. <laughs> yeah, you start out with like four options for each, right? And but but like, there's yeah. two outfits that have the option to put on a jacket or not. Yeah. So it's just, let's be honest, it's just two. So are we assuming they are setting it up for DLC in the future like that? Or like maybe microtransactions? I hope so. Like, what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> You're stuck with this dude showing off his six pack, like his unzipped leather the entire yeah. game. Or you put him in like these like white chino pants and like a I don't know like oh yeah <laughs> like it's the options they blow they suck like Prompt his family owns like a hotel in the Florida Keys yeah like I'm okay with Noctis I'm okay with with Prompto I guess but yeah Gladio and Ignis I just found myself like ugh and Justin brought up a good point Justin Haywald was like wait you mean I can't wear classic Final Fantasy gear like I don't get to find these like rad outfits and I was like no but that sounds awesome like yeah. I would love to dress Prompto up like Cloud do yeah. you know what I mean like perfect fit you know. Yeah. There's there's so many of those instances. Noctis could be Squall if we yeah, really wanted to go don't, there. Don't the outfits even like change attributes slightly too? They so do. It seems yeah. kind of weird to only have yeah. two or four. You so th you do at one point unlock another one, but it sick one more, one more, <laughs> right? And I found myself more caught up in the fact that I hated the way my characters looked than oh I like the way that this benefits my stats. You know what I yeah. mean? I, I, would, I would pick something that made me weaker because I didn't have to stare at a dumb outfit. <laughs> I do that. I, yeah, I would too. Yeah. I do that all the time. Like, I'm very super fall out. Like, <laughs> so it's like, th these stats look better, but you look dumb with like a piece of metal sticking out of your right, chest. So right. we're going to... Hey, you can give him new earrings though. Or the sick ski vest. Yeah. Like he looks, he looks like a rich person trying to like fit in with commoners in that outfit. Like yeah. his clothes don't fit. He doesn't know how to wear a hat. Like it's perfect for the desert too. <laughs> yeah, he looks like he'll. He's not gonna be sweating at all. No. All right, so new equipment and just accessories, clothing in general would be good. Beyond that, weapons. Merchants sell one or two weapons. Like I, I think for any character, the most weapons I have is like eight or nine. Because well, you said like the late game, a lot of the cool parts of the late game really? is coming across these the legendary weapons that they, like your forefathers had. Well, sort of. So those aren't traditionally weapons. Those are super powered, and when you use them, they drain your HP. So they're okay. sort of like something you use when you're feeling very confident and you don't need to worry. But most of the time, when you're doing the high level stuff, you can't use them because it'll put you at a disadvantage. So you do use just standard weapons. But there is a quest line right now that I've opened where I'm seeking a different set of legendary weapons, um, and those are actual like real ones. So I'm hoping to get those. But it's just one per per weapon type. I'm not finding like a suite of swords that look rad or offer a lot of different properties. There are some differences, but to go to a shop and just see one sword the entire game is bullshit. Like, yeah, because you, you like don't even really see the see the swords and stuff unless you're fighting. Like, it almost seems like why don't you just have more and like not yeah. like yeah, just, yeah. Like it pisses me off. It's it's not enough that I I think about it long term, but reflecting on it now, it's like yeah, that is really dumb. That is really super bad. Like, it doesn't hurt combat, but it hurts my ownership over my character. Yeah, bit. in open world games, especially RPGs of this magnitude, I kind of want to see my character look different at the end, or at least, like, play different with different weapons or something. They do look different at the end. Oh. Mm. But is it because of equipment or outfits? No. Are you? Are you? Are we in spoiler territory? Should I stop talking? Not really. Oh, okay. But... Did yeah, they become? Sure. It hints at it. <laughs> at they the become. It hints right? at it at yeah. the beginning of the game. Okay. It's 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 like very obvious foreshadowing. In like, okay. the, there's no question that it's foreshadowing something. Interesting. Yeah. But in the sense that I would like to keep 
like building my character with new gear and whatnot throughout mm. the game, which I don't, I don't, again, I don't, is that like a Final Fantasy trope or no? Not like a lot, like an open uh, world Witcher Not in or terms something. of changing appearance, okay. but in terms of having a lot of options, yes, that is a, if you want to call it a trope, I call it, you know, just, yeah, tradition. Okay. <laughs> um, something else that might be kind of cool, like I actually haven't found any of the summons yet, and it seems like they're a pain in the ass to actually summon. It doesn't sound like there's a lot, are there? But it might be cool to have more, maybe. <laughs> there's four. There's four, yeah. You, but see, you see more in the game, but you can only use four, and if you're lucky, you will <laughs> cast two of them. <laughs> it's really, they need to, yeah, you didn't. You sounded pretty sour on the summons. It was one. Of, it was one of the bad notes on the review. One of the things that definitely did stand out to me more than the lack of swords, which I, you know, wasn't didn't feel egregious enough for me to get that upset about in the big picture. But the summons, oh my god, the game makes such a big deal about them, and you can never freaking cast them. You have to be at a certain like health state in battle and in a certain region. But that's bullshit. Even if you're in those states in that place, you can't cast those freaking summons. I was, I knew the rules. I, I, it was told to me by the press, the PR team. I spent an hour trying to summon Leviathan. Didn't happen. Didn't you have to be near? Well, I, yeah, I, I was. Yeah, I was near water yes. and doing what you do. You are correct. <laughs> your health was really low. I went. I went to the the ocean coast. I went on a lake. I went on a river, and Leviathan was somewhere else, just fucking off. You I have, have no idea. <laughs> All I want for Christmas, the Mariah Carey version. Yeah, and so like you know, you get in these huge battles. Not when it, not when you're just trying to summon them, right? But in the game, you get in these huge battles. And in past Final Fantasy games, you'd be like, you know what? I'm going to kick your ass with Ifrit right now. I'm going to cast a summon because that is the most powerful spell I have, and you can't stop me. But now summons will appear just because the magical conditions are met. But it could be in a battle where you don't need their help, mm -hmm. you know? All right. <sighs> I don't know. Is there anything else we want to talk about? It is release day of this I'm game. I'm adding on a really, we're talking about on a really DLC, bad <laughs> but no, no, I mean, I imagine in a game like this, if they do, when they, when they do eventually release DLC, it'll be stuff that will reward people who've been playing for a while. I would assume yeah. maybe more dungeons for the people that did like 100% yeah. of this, like 80 I mean, hours or however long it might take. And I'm, like to reward them rather than people that are just getting in. I'm curious too. Like you had Final Fantasy 13 2, Final Fantasy 13 3, Final Fantasy 10 2. <laughs> like, do you, do you think there'll be like like DLC could be Final Fantasy 15 2? I had that thought the other day. But so the the thing is, the story doesn't leave a lot of room for anything like that. It it, it there is there is <sighs> there is a little bit of room for it, but but not in the sense. Yeah. That I can be like, oh yeah, I can see where this is going. I could, I could not tell you where I think but the story I mean, might continue. Maybe with like different characters, or is that territory? Is that a different Final Fantasy? Because mm -hmm. I don't know the tradition, but like, because I really do love the world. Like, I'm having yeah. so much fun just exploring the world. It'd be cool to see DLC. I mean, the world's already huge, but maybe after a while, like, have a new area. Maybe not to the same size, but yeah. have a new area you can go to. Maybe new characters you play. Is there like a new sort of side story? Kind of like you guys uh, talking about Blood and Wine earlier. Like actually, you know like what? That. That, that brings to mind. So so Sid, right? He's a recurring character in a lot of Final Fantasy games. He's in this one and he is an old friend of your father. Now there is a point in the game where you see like, it's not really a spoiler. You just see like a photograph of Sid and your father and two other guys like 30 years ago, right? It's like a mirror image of what you're currently doing in the game, but the generation before you. I could see DLC that uses those characters to tell the story back then. That that that's actually probably where I would expect they could go and still justify the DLC without having to jump through hoops. Like yeah. how does this fit, right? Well, it fits because it took place before. Different characters, maybe same abilities or at least the same battle system. Interesting. Yeah. All right, well, that's Final Fantasy 15 and the DLC we kind of want to see down the road, but uh yeah. Let us know what you guys think once you play more of it, what you think we could see in DLC down the road, where you think the story could go from here, what more additions to the open world you want to see. Let us know in the comments below.